Hi everyone. In this video we are going to chat about some of my new favourite urban sketches. Um, so I did call this urban sketches to follow in 2021. Um, that is not to say that these are new urban sketches in any way. Um, I think what I mean by it is perhaps that I they're the urban sketches that are inspiring me the most so far in 2021. Some of them might be new discoveries to me. That's not to say that they obviously haven't been around for years, um, but I might have only just discovered them. Or maybe they're just sketches I just really want to highlight um, to you guys. Uh, but, you know, you might already... There's a few on this list you might have heard of, um, but I'm convinced that there's definitely two or three that you have not heard of. So, And I think it would be great if you go and check out their work because it's just so incredible and just so different, you know. Um, I think that's kind of what I focused on here. I completely unintentionally picked um, Urban Sketches where very actually none of them really use what, you know, like the ink and watercolour kind of approach that... I personally am quite used to seeing in urban sketching. Um, I think, in fact, there's only really one artist on this list that uses watercolour, so I've only just realised that. That's quite interesting. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's get into it. The first person I want to mention is a guy called Lyndon Hayes. Um, he is based in London, in the UK, um, and I have only recently discovered him, and I'm not really sure why <laughs> but I when I saw his um, work on Instagram I could just feel like my excitement and inspiration bubble up and like obviously when I, this happens I know I've struck gold um, so I actually didn't realize but I have got some of his work pinned um, on my Pinterest uh, boards but because this style of his on Instagram is quite different, I didn't actually realise it was the same person. Um, so Lyndon is actually a professional illustrator. A lot of his work is featured in editorial. Um, I think he does a lot of commissions and stuff like that. But the the, the thing that really grabbed me is his um, this particular Instagram profile, which just features urban sketches from ar around London. And he tends to do his sketches in two different um, colors and just like fine liner kind of pens so you can see here some examples where he'll use two contrasting colors he'll use like a lighter color for all of these details in the background and then he'll use like a darker color for the foreground and it just really pops I'm just really really love um, looking at these sketches you know um, and he just draws with so much it, it's so clean you know it's not sketchy in any way it's like really clean I'd be super interested to know if he just goes straight into his sketch in pen or whether he maps anything out in um in pencil or anything because the amount of detail and like perspective and whatnot he's um capturing is just quite amazing and sometimes where he doesn't quite fill in all the details it almost feels like it's kind of like a f like a photocopy effect where only like certain lines have been captured or something. I don't know how he does it. It's just beautiful. And yeah, really, really go and check out his Instagram profile. I think he has two. He has one for his professional illustration work. And then he has one, which is just Lyndon Hayes, which features his urban sketches of around London and stuff. Um, and from sort of like reading through his uh, or looking through his profile and reading comments and stuff like that, I think what he's using for the colour is um, fine Posca pens, so the ones with the finer um, nibs. So I think that's what he's using for his colour. But anyway, just absolutely mind-blowing. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cool. Okay, so the next artist that I would like to mention, who is definitely not new, and probably most of you will be like, oh yeah, I've known about her for ages. <laughs> But for some reason, again, like she's only really come into my consciousness during 2020. And I'm like, how have I missed this person? Like, how did I not really know um, about her? Um, so I'm talking about Maru Godas. She is a Spanish illustrator and urban sketcher. Um, she, as I said, has been around for a long time on the urban sketching scene. Um, she's taught workshops at um, symposiums, notably the Chicago one. Um, she also has illustrated books um, and uh, magazines as well, so you can check that out on her Instagram profile. And she tends to use gouache, I believe, is like definitely seems to be her main love and her main medium. 
Um, and what I love about following Maru Godas on Instagram is just her videos and her reels. They're just so beautifully done, so beautifully uh, um, executed, you know. So they're definitely the highlight of my Instagram feed is her is her, her reels um, of her process. And I just love that she takes, you know, takes squash out onto the streets um, of and to do urban sketching. That's something I really want to do at some stage but it just it does intimidate me because I feel like you need more stuff and it's not quite as convenient as watercolor so that is an area that I really want to grow into um so I have found looking at Maru's stuff really good and also just so playful and so childlike I think even one of her workshops or um yeah workshops what is called gouache like a child um and that's not in a bad way you know she's owning that it's just like so playful and whimsical um and graphic um, yeah, just really, really blown away by it. I have discovered that she has a Domestica course because all of the best people are on Domestica, um, of course. So um, I've been hovering over it, but I've just recently bought it. So I'm about halfway through at the moment. Um, and I just really, I think I've got like five, the five basic colors, white, black, red, yellow and blue in gouache. But I definitely want to go and get some more fun colors um, and really experiment with this stuff. So you might see a, a new wave of uh, YouTube videos coming out of me with gouache in the near future, I hope. Um, but yeah, if you haven't heard of Mary Godas, then I really do recommend you going and checking out her Instagram feed because it's brilliant. And then if you want to, um, yeah, go and check out her Domestica course as well. So on to the next person um, I want to mention uh, this guy is called Phil Dean and some people might know him as Shoreditch Sketcher. Um, I've known about Phil for years actually, um, but I realised, you know, I didn't mention him in my previous video where I talked about my big influences, um, my urban sketching influences. Um, but I really want to mention him because I just think he's like such a great guy and I just absolutely love his style of sketching. I was lucky enough to attend just a, a little workshop just for a few hours. Um, I think it was back in 2017, something like that. So I did meet with him and have a bit of a chat and that was nice. Um, and yeah, I just really like his approach to sketching. He, you know, he's very minimalist, just his book, his sketchbook and a pen. Um, and he fully embraces the wonky lines, which I'm all about. Um, and I think he tends to add colour afterwards because he does tend, and I'm using the word tend because I don't want to say all of the time, you know, um, tend to use markers as well, which I'm really loving that kind of graphic, bold style of markers. Um, but yeah, he's one of, his drawings can be so like detailed and intricate um, when, you know, and you're stepping back and you're like, well, that's a whole street scene of London, you know. Um, and then you get up on it and you see like how wobbly and crazy his lines are. And you're like, whoa, it just kind of blows you away because then you step back again. You're like, you can't even see it. You can't even see that there's wobbly lines all over the place. And I just love that. It's almost like a like a mind eye trick, you know. Um, so that's what I love most about his work. Um, so, yeah, as the name suggests, uh, Shoreditch Sketcher, he... Uh, lives and works around Shoreditch so he drew a lot of his scenes he draws around um that kind of area that's not to say that he doesn't draw elsewhere but um that's kind of his his tag I guess um and he did actually release a book as well last year um around August 2020 um called Urban Drawing uh in um relation or in combination with uh Tate Galleries or or Tate um it's a big art gallery in the UK um, so that's awesome. Do check that out. It's actually an instructional book, but he obviously features a lot of his um, work to demonstrate what he's talking about as well. Um, and um, yeah, so I highly recommend checking that out. And also, of course, his Instagram feed. So you can find him at Shoreditch Sketcher. Um, and it's just amazing to check out um, his his sketches on there. OK, moving on to the next person the ever elusive alien bin bin. Um, I do not know who this person is. Um, I think this person is male from what I can tell from his Instagram feed. So I will refer to him as male. Um, but I do apologize if I've got this wrong. Um, I have no idea what his name is. Um, and all I know is that he's a very prominent part of the urban sketches, um, group in 
Huangzhou in China. So, um, but yeah, other than that, there's not really any other information about him. So I don't know if he's a professional illustrator, if he just does this for fun. I think from what I can tell, he's reasonably young. Um, but yeah, I'm. he's just a mystery. But that kind of makes it even cooler, I guess. Um, so again, if you have not checked this guy out before um do go over to instagram and you'll find him at alien bin bin this is the only place i know of where his work is um and you will see what i mean he is i mean obviously i'm showing you on screen here too he is absolutely incredible he's got a really kind of um graphic novel kind of comic feeling to his drawings um and he kind of uses really heavy blacks in a lot of places and super bold color um i love what he does on toned paper i just think it's just so um vibrant and just i just want to be in that place you know it's just so fun um i'm not quite sure what he uses for his color i've seen him say that he uses ballpoint pens in some areas but i'm not sure if that's just an incorrect translation because it doesn't look like ballpoint pen to me um, but I think also I've seen in pictures that he uses the coloured Pigma Micron fine liners, um, and he may even use something like Posca's as well. Um, but yeah, it's just beautifully vibrant. Um, and I love the one thing I, or the main thing, should I say, that I absolutely love, bar the kind of blacks and the bright colours, because that really speaks to my soul, um, is the way he plays with perspective and he just bends things around um you know uses like curvilinear perspective and like kind of a fisheye sort of thing um or he'll bend buildings to fit on his page kind of like lapan does i just think it's amazing he is so talented um and god i'd love for him to do some kind of i don't know i wish he had a youtube channel or i wish like he had a course or something like that because i just love to see his process of how he makes these drawings um but anyway the best we've got is his work on instagram so you can binge scroll your way through that stuff um it is super eye candy okay up next we have another spanish um illustrator um called santi salas um Fairly certain some of you might have heard of Santi because he's also a reasonably well-known name in the whole urban sketching scene. Um, and he, so he's an urban sketcher, but he's I think he's a professional graphic designer and illustrator as well. Um, and he's another one just like with really bold kind of whimsical style. Um, he's got a YouTube channel actually, so where he does show a few bits and bobs of his process. Um, so just type in Santi Salis and you'll find his videos there, which you might find interesting to have a look at. Um, and he's also got a few books available as well. Um, you can just, I can spot Santi Salis's style like a mile away. Um, I think his graphic design skills really feed through to his sketching um, and more specifically kind of his sketchbook spread design. Um, I love his sketchbook spreads that kind of feature collections of things, you know, collections of cameras or houses or sardines, <laughs> whatever he chooses to uh, chooses to do a spread on. Um, but yeah, he's really playful when it comes to presenting his work. He, he sometimes uses like a graphic novel style kind of layout where he has squares and uh, draws different scenes, different aspects of a scene in each of them, which I think is a really interesting way to... Um, design a sketchbook spread by the way guys if you are interested in a bit more about sketchbook spread design um i do have a whole blog post on that over on urbansketchingworld.com so you can go and check that over there and i use santi um in a few examples over there as well as work from other urban sketches as well so do go and check that out um i do also love his spreads where he almost looks like it almost looks like a bit of a journal spread um where he's got drawings, but also quite a bit of handwriting. And his handwriting is so delightfully childish and scrawly, but I think it's on purpose. I mean, that probably is his handwriting, but maybe he just like emphasizes a bit more, crosses out words, and it just looks really fun. I love it. Um, and he even has sketches that almost look like diagrams, you know, of labels and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you're feeling like you need a bit of inspiration or a bit of permission just to like let loose and get a bit scribbly and layer color pencils over watercolor or get the gouache out like santi's your man you know he's he's great 
So I'm now going to move on to the last person on my list and I'm going to do my best to pronounce her name. Her name is Zeleznaya Nadia. Um, so I don't know too much about Zeleznaya, but what I, I have been following her for a couple of years now on face, on um, Instagram. Um, she is, uh, I think, from Minsk in Belarus. I'm basing that mainly on um, her Instagram. Um, and I kind of always just forget about her when it comes to talking about urban sketches, but she's absolutely an urban sketcher. Her whole feed is full of just urban sketches. And she's another one that um, just solely uses markers. And I always find this super interesting because, again, much like Maru with her gouache, I just feel like ugh, lugging loads of markers around to do urban sketching would be quite cumbersome. But actually, when I've sort of looked through her feed quite a lot and I've seen the pictures and sometimes read what she says... Um, it actually is the the fact that she really works in quite a limited palette of markers. So I suppose that kind of answers my concerns about having to lug loads of markers around because she actually doesn't. I think she just sticks to maybe five to ten markers in, in a certain limited palette, which tends to be um, greys, grayscale, but then with blues as well. Um, like greyish blues um, and that kind of palette, which is quite like a moody... Um, yeah, kind of a moody kind of palette, really. But I don't know, maybe it just works really well for like city scenes, you know. And th so the main thing that I love about this artist is that she draws like the most mundane, boring, ugly looking urban scenes. But because she's drawing them in her book and the way she draws it, they just just enchanting you know it's just amazing I, I it's another instagram feed i just can't take my eyes off i just want to scroll through it all and take it all in you know um so as you can see on the screen like um i just she just takes the most ordinary ugly things and just draws them so beautifully um so yeah i'd highly recommend taking taking some time and uh getting your scroll finger on and uh having a look through um she i think she pretty much uses copic markers um but i think i've seen in photos that she's got some touch markers too um so that's so she's using the alcohol markers and it does look like she's basically using a mole skin so i don't know um how she manages the bleed through of the pages maybe she kind of leaves every other page or something like that but anyway um she does have a from what i can tell she does have a um online course actually which is cool however um it is only in russian um and having only taken school level russian myself uh, i'm a bit rusty and i definitely don't know what's going on um not that i've bought it but i've just looked at the trailer and apparent and not apparently there there isn't there doesn't seem to be any option for subtitles either so um if you speak russian then do check that out or if you don't mind just watching and not understanding what's being said then also check it out um, but yeah, she is one of my very, very, very favourite um, urban sketches that I always seem to forget about. So there we go. So I hope you found this video interesting, guys. Um, I hope I've presented a few people that are new to you that you may not have checked out yet. Um, and I hope that I've kind of um, brought to you people that work in different mediums to show you that urban sketching doesn't just have to be done in watercolour or ink or that kind of thing you know you can people are doing it and you can experiment and you can use markers and gouache and all kinds of mixed media on location um and you can do it while still you know remaining mobile um so yeah do uh check out uh, each of these sketches i have a blog post about this subject over on urbansketchingworld.com if you want to read through the information um, a bit more uh, all the links are over there but I've got all the links in the description below um, and you know while you're over on urbansketchingworld.com if you'd like to um, hear more from me um, I've got some very exciting news coming up about my own online course for example um, which will be presented as a very special offer to email subscribers only so do hop over to urbansketchingworld.com and if you fancy it you can join my newsletter and you will get that special discount um, and also, as always, you know, 
I've still got my book. It's still there. So definitely still check it out if you are interested. Uh, Sketchy Adventures Around the World. It's an ebook. Um, I won't go into too much detail because I mention it in every video, but um, the, the link is in the description below. So do go over and check that out if you're interested. Um, but otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next video.